So, rugby pass at uh, Twickenham, following what can only be described as an absolutely thumping victory for the French. And uh, let's just go and hear what the fans think of it. Uh, we fucked England. I'm sorry, but it's the tradition. You made, you made love to England. Yeah, we made love to England tonight, and England like it. Talk, talk me through your feelings. My feelings? I'm so dejected, I'm going home early. When's the last time you left early from Twickenham? Never. That was just appalling. Absolutely appalling. I don't, we have no defence. Yeah, the back row was totally outplayed, completely outplayed. And I, you know, I, I, where do we go from here? We're going to Dublin next week, and I'm going to be there. I'm not looking forward to it, in all honesty, in all honesty, I think I might stay at the pub and drink some Guinness, because I don't see any way we can win in Dublin, no way at all. Everybody around me was shouting that they don't like the idea that you keep cook kicking the ball from one end to the other, like a ping pong ball, and the game used to be that you ran with the ball. Hugely disappointed. It's just a disgrace, 53-10. Did you feel that that was a disgraceful performance? Yeah. We've, we've come all the way from Devon up to watch the rugby and it was, it was shocking. <laughs> first actually up at Twickenham, our first England game, and yeah, it was a bit disappointing. <laughs> were you hoping for something slightly better the first time? We were hoping for some like inspiration, some like excitement, and it was just plain old, just boring England. Long drive home now? Well, for the Isles are silly for me, so it's a hell of a long way. <laughs> Boys, tell me, how, how are you feeling after that match? I'm um, not very happy. I wanted England to win, not France. I'm also not feeling very happy because I didn't think that France was going to win. Did you feel that France deserved to win that match? Uh, probably. I am a French supporter, so I'm super happy from the, for the win. But as a rugby fan, uh, I'm, I'm worried about, about England. I'm, I really am. I, I, I mean, I love England, and they're a big team, and we need rugby needs England to be a, a big team. And tonight it wasn't the case. So let's let's give them the time to rebuild and have a good World Cup. So wait, tell me this: Are you actually? Pitying this English side, like no, 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 no. I would not, but uh, they they have to rebuild. Yeah, the, di the difference is quite high, but we were all, we were but there five or six or seven years ago, so it's a question know. of generation. We have to it remember where we come it from come as back. French, yeah, yeah. but but maybe maybe if English want some advice, they should take it. So that was a tough day. Yeah. How are you feeling coming out now? I mean, a bit bad, wasn't it? <laughs> what more can you say? I mean, 53-10 to France. Any sort of smidgen of positivity you can take out from that? No. <laughs> You've obviously dressed up for occasion. You look amazing. How was your Twickenham experience? Good. You know, you win some, you lose some. They, they just outplayed us today, so, you know. Can't say any further than that. <laughs> One English fan still happy, and a lot of slightly happier French fans. Um, I'm surviving. That's the. Uh, that's what I can say. I'm surviving. <laughs> um, guys, talk, talk me through. What an incredible! Allez, bro. Allez, bro. That was so good. We were incredible. And it was just. I can't believe we were here for that. Uh, where have you guys come in from? Paris. It was uh, amazing, amazing. The, the score is uh, beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's perfect for, uh, for us. Do we think France are going to win the World Cup? Vous pensez que la France allait gagner la Coupe du Monde? Ah oui, bien sûr. Of course. I love that French confidence oozing. Le blanc rouge. Here we go. The French flag, the tricolore, enjoying themselves. Um, yeah. And did it feel almost like uh, you were at the Stade de France today? Yeah. yeah. We, we are sorry for England today. Pit so, yeah. yeah, we are better than you at this today, time. Today, and maybe before you were better we than hope. us, and now we are kicking you. 
Allons enfants de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé. Marchons, marchons, de sang impur, à bravo Please explain why you're wearing what you're wearing, in case anybody doesn't understand why. Oh, um, we wear this because it's the French flag, and we are proud of it, and um, we wanted to be seen, so because we have a little girl, and she's with uh, Grandma and Grandpa and Victoria. I love you. I love you, Victoria. I love you, Victoria. Allez le bleu! Allez le bleu! So, uh, where are you from? I'm from Boston. I'm from Boston. Okay, that talk me through that humiliation for the English side, well, from an American perspective. Well, we scored ten points, right? Did we get ten? So, if they scored zero, we still would have won. Keep that, that's the... That's Mathematically, you're that's correct. That, 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 strategically, that doesn't work and, as well. And also, there was this one mall where we, there was a penalty and we should have scored on that one. So, that would have been 17. So... Still feel like there was quite some yeah, distance to get. I don't, have, I don't have much more to say besides that the Roses could win. The, the Red Roses, the girls. The, the, the women's team could win. That's, that's what I was thinking. That's all I got. Oh, so that's something nice to take home for the English fans. Uh, maybe the women will win as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And... We might as well sack the manager. That's the other thing everyone's saying. <laughs> Is that what you do in the US? Yeah, we just get to fire him. Go from the manager. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks for your perspective. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, no, my friend here got me a ticket, so I was really excited about coming. I thought we'd at least like compete, but I mean, it was one of the worst games I've ever seen England play, and I've been to a few, so hugely disappointed. But fr France deserved it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, from your perspective, is it more about France's? ability to play or England's inability to play? Uh, it's a bit of both, you know. I think we're, we're in a position where England are, you know, struggling to um, put a structure together where we're actually able to play an attacking type of... I think our defence is usually quite good, but today we just fell apart. But, like, to be honest, like, there was no attacking sort of flair or any kind of, like, play from England. and. You know, in the end, it just fell apart. It was like watching Liverpool against United last weekend. To be honest, it was uh, well deserved from France. On est chez nous, on est chez nous, on est, on est, on est chez nous, on est chez nous, on est chez nous, on est, on est, on est chez nous. That actually means we're at home. We're we're at our house. This is their house. Does this feel like Twickenham's home for you guys? Yeah, it's... I believe it is. I believe it does. Oh, they're all very keen until you say it has to be done in English and then they're a little bit less keen. Thank you for welcome. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your play, play. Your, your fair play. Thank you for your fair play. England is a good team, but France is a very, very, very good team. Yeah. <laughs> it's as simple as that.